there have been a lot of ups and downs in this year for me and then you'll realize that you'll do whatever it takes to stay afloat i didn't know what i was doing Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be all about the mindset shifts that I've had in 2022 that I believe completely changed my life. So hopefully you're going to be able to take back some value from it and maybe even relate to some of the things I say. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. I can't believe the year is coming to an end. Where has this year gone? But also the end of the year is like my favorite time of the year because apart from festival, shadi season, my birthday is also coming up. So it's it's always super exciting for me but as you know we're closing out this year i was just sitting down and thinking about you know the things that have happened this year that have taught me so much and uh, i think there has been a lot of you know there have been a lot of ups and downs in this year for me professionally personally physically mentally uh, just a lot has happened starting off i think the first mindset shift that i've had this year is to truly believe in yourself and you can achieve whatever it is that you put your mind to. For example, if you are in a situation right now wherein you know that you have a particular passion but you have no idea how to pursue it, trust me, there is something or the other that you can do to sort of take one baby step forward in that department no matter where you are right now. So I think for me personally, when I was pursuing my master's, I knew that I wanted to eventually end up in the health and fitness field. So I knew at the end of my master's, there was a four month compulsory internship. And in most B schools, you won't have companies coming in from the health, fitness and sports industry. So I wrote a bunch of applications to Adidas, Nike and what like other companies in the sports industry while I was in Singapore. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get in. However, I took that effort because I truly, truly wanted it and I didn't want to sort of sit down and wait around for these opportunities to come because I knew at the back of my head that somewhere there's a chance that it might never come up. So uh, while I was doing that, while I was applying, I just automatically did a lot of research about the kind of roles that are available in companies like this and it made me think about the kind of roles that you know I'm hunting for right now while employing people in my company uh, in the health and fitness industry but when I finished my MBA and I started my internship in a cloud consulting firm in Singapore I just did one small thing and that was sign up for certified personal trainer and a sports nutrition specialist exam. So six months later, I gave my exams and I became certified to become a coach. And that was already one step forward for me to be able to work in the industry that I've always wanted to work in. So at the end of my internship, I had qualifications in place that allowed me to practice as a coach worldwide. So it was at that point that I was able to take that opportunity and immediately put that into starting Team Meraki. I didn't know what I was doing but I just told myself I'll figure it out just like me I'm sure you guys have friends family contacts that you can pull out of somewhere that will be experts in various fields there might be a graphic designer you know who might help you you know uh, figure out your company's logo and name and then you have your legal team who can figure out the copywriting of that particular logo so basically whatever it is that you put your mind to you will find a way to do it regardless of what situation you are in right now okay mindset shift number two is to take risks before you're ready trust me you will never be ready for whatever it is that you think you want to do in life whether that is starting a business whether that is competing in you know whatever sport you've been playing bachpan say taking part in a dance competition you will always feel like okay i need to hit these things before i'm ready for that but the truth is starting before you're ready can really throw you into the unknown and challenge you in ways that you didn't think possible. Of course, it's important to take calculated risks, but sometimes in certain cases, you really need to throw yourself into the water and then you'll realize that you'll do whatever it takes to stay afloat. But if you're just looking at that lake or river or sea from a distance, it's likely that you'll keep finding reasons to not step into it or you know just deal with it later mindset shift number three which i think is extremely important and has been the biggest learning for me in my professional journey is to delegate you cannot do everything by yourself even if you want to trust me when i started off um, you know we were a team of two and we were doing everything by ourselves and i just always felt like nobody would be able to do it as well as we could or no one would care as much about the company as we would and I mean, that's not completely untrue, but from my experience, the people who you employ or delegate work to will likely do a much better job than you expect them to do. 
and it's important to be able to put your faith in other people if you want the brand or the company to grow and this works for people who are in a corporate or working environment as well if you have a bunch of things on your desk and you are overloaded it's okay to you know reach out and ask for help and i'm sure you will find colleagues and friends who will share the load and you can return that favor for them at some other point in life but it is very important to be able to figure out when you need to delegate so that you avoid burning out so now i'm able to number one delegate tasks and number two also differentiate my work into little buckets that i attend to on a daily basis and i have set aside fixed time for play entertainment and just relaxing in general okay mindset shift number 4 is to keep your life as personal or public as you want it to be i think now this is extremely subjective and changes from person to person but uh, i think over the last few years since we started team meraki my social media profiles have started looking very different from how they used to in the past sometimes a lot of us are tempted to share everything in our lives on social media but that can be that can have pros and cons i think if you have a private account it's a lot more controlled but when you have a business account or a public account like i do um it can be a space of negativity as well so you have to remember that there are well wishers there but there are also people who want to see you fail who are probably following you or you know stalking you anyway and sometimes that can really interfere with your mental health and then also your work and it just disrupts a lot of things that are flowing well for you uh, so it's very important to be sort of selective about the information you choose to share online and i think that's a shift that i have had over the last couple of years and a few friends of mine have pointed it out as well i must say that my life is a lot more peaceful now okay, this brings me to mindset shift number 5 and that is mental health is absolutely the number one thing in my life I mean when my mental health is in shambles I just cannot do anything for the first half of 2022 at least for the first 5 months I just didn't feel like myself and I was struggling with a lot of anxiety a lot of stress I think there was a lot going on and a lot that I wanted to figure out plus as I said there was so much work that we were just doing on our own that it caught up to me and uh, it really weighed me down so i think i've realized the importance of having your mental health in check now and thankfully for us at team meraki since we work with a psychologist who helps our clients we have easy access to her so i have you know spoken to her on a couple of occasions about how i'm feeling uh unfortunately i haven't started proper therapy yet but it is not something i'm averse to and maybe in 2023 i will do it full flesh if i feel like i need it and i'm sure that will help me immensely mindset shift number 6 is also a very important one and that is it's very important to differentiate between your professional persona and your personal persona uh, a lot of times i think for me my personality sort of leaks into my work and that's not necessarily always a good thing i think in a professional setting you need to have a lot more filters a lot more boundaries uh, which i learned throughout this year being able to sort of put your foot down and put yourself in uncomfortable situations that benefit the business or you know it's just taking a stand for yourself is very very important and you can't let emotion get in the way there so i think i've been able to manage my emotions and have a good balance of practicality and empathy in my approach towards my business and just my professional life in general and i think this is super important for all of you who are still young uh, and haven't gotten into the corporate space yet or haven't started your own ventures yet or maybe those who have just started it's very very important to have a filter there mindset shift number 7 is also one that's very close to my heart and that is being proud of yourself is not the same as bragging i think a lot of us have been brought up to be very humble and down to earth and i think that's a great thing it's fantastic parenting however sometimes this can lead us to being uncomfortable in moments where we receive compliments so i was just sort of analyzing my own behavior and in the past any time someone would compliment me i would either immediately brush it off as nothing or i would um, return the compliment to them or i would just not believe it and that's not a good thing Uh, I think it's important to acknowledge the things that you're good at and be proud of yourself for it because it's possible that you worked very very hard to excel at that particular skill or particular job and 
we need to learn how to say thank you and it isn't the same as bragging uh, it took me a very very long time to differentiate between the two but i have learned it now it's important to be able to take a stand for yourself and know what you bring to the table whether this is in your personal life and personal relationships or your professional relationships okay now this brings me to mindset shift number 8 which is no matter how hard you try you will always be the villain in someone's story now growing up i used to be a big people pleaser and the only thing i could think about was how do i do the right thing so i don't upset everyone around me without realizing that everybody is different and everyone views life from a different lens and no matter what i do in periods of conflict sometimes i am going to be the bad guy in someone's story even if i think i wasn't so it's crucial to stop focusing on the things you can't control that is what people will say or portray about you and really focus on what you put out there into the world just you know really try your best to be the best person you can be try to handle conflict in the most mature manner possible without you know a bunch of word vomit because of how you're feeling in that moment take a breather and really think before you speak and this is something that i have grown to understand over the years and hope to implement this in my life as you know a permanent value going forward and now mindset shift number 9 i don't really want to call this a shift but rather a realization most people will support you or be happy for you as long as you are less successful than them i think this has a lot to do with just you know how the way that humans are wired naturally it's natural to feel envious about somebody but for you as the person in the situation who might be growing rapidly in whatever industry whatever you're doing remember to not give too much value to validation that you receive externally i mean of course you should have your core circle your inner circle you know who is able to just call you out in general because they care for you or validate you when required but the majority of people around you you need to completely shut that out whether that is compliments or whether that is the opposite uh, because that again can deter you from your goal and just knowing being aware of the fact that okay if i grow too quickly or if i become successful i am likely to have more enemies or you know uh, people who don't wish me well as opposed to well wishers and that's okay and the last mindset shift that i have had uh, over the last couple of years actually that i think everyone should adopt asap which i also know is easier said than done is the sooner you adopt and i don't care about what people say what people think attitude the more peace you will have in your life people are going to talk okay no matter what you do you do good you do bad they're going to talk about you and you just got to stop letting that bother you at the end of the day if it makes sense to you and you have come to a conclusion a decision after a lot of thought you want to limit the number of people whose opinions you take in in the past i used to speak about a lot of issues to a lot of people and of course more people means more opinions which also means more opinions that i don't agree with which also means if i don't take their opinion into consideration and do something completely opposite even though that's what i believe in i'm going to upset them again comes down to the uh, the whole people pleasing thing um so now what i do is i just restrict this to one or two people in my life who i trust a lot or not even that i really just completely shut off to think and really rationally think about the pros and cons of making a decision and then i go ahead and do it and then i don't care what people say because i can also take responsibility for the decisions i have made and i don't have anyone else to blame if that fails except for myself and more than blame it's more like a learning lesson because i know the rational i used to come to that decision and it didn't work out and that helps me reevaluate and introspect on the changes i need to make going forward again always remember if it makes you happy it doesn't have to make sense to anybody else all right so that brings me to the end of this video these are the top 10 uh, mindset shifts or realizations i have had this year that have absolutely changed my life and i know a lot of these are easier said than done for me personally they've come from experiences i am i have never been the kind of person who learns from you know what people tell me i have always been the kind who learns from experiences and many times that's not necessarily been a good thing i think i've put myself through way too much trouble and pain in order to 
realize some of these things but it doesn't have to be the same for you i hope you took back some value from this video and you resonated with some of the things i said if you have certain mindset shifts that completely changed your life or your perspective in this last one year then please leave them in the comments below i would love to read them and learn from them and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video and staying till the end if you did uh, wish you guys a very very happy new year and i'll see you in the next video bye